With a flash of his skates and spray of hard ice, Apollo Anton Ono lives life in the fast lane, racing at an average of 35 miles per hour, taking turns leaning almost 45 degrees into the cold ice below. You're out on that ice, skating as fast as you can. What is that feeling like? It feels like you're in a very fast sports car, and you just put it in automatic, and it just feels almost easy. And being in that zone is, there's no better feeling in the world. Apollo Ono struck gold at the Salt Lake City Games in 2002, but his victory was shrouded in controversy. The win came after South Korea's Kim Dong Sung was disqualified for illegally cutting Apollo off. Still, Apollo's two medal wins in Salt Lake, gold and silver, and his brazen good looks earned him a rock star following. People who remember you in Salt Lake City remember the bandana and the soul patch, the look, the Apollo yeah. Ono look. I mean, I haven't seen my chin in years. I don't even know what's under there. <laughs> you know what I mean? There could be like a little smiley face that I drew a long time ago. I don't know. Maybe there's a tattoo. I have no who idea. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> Four years later, Torino. Apollo ripped across the ice to three more medals, including a gold in what he calls the perfect race. But after the 2006 Winter Games, he took a slight detour. Who would have thunk it? You end up on Dancing with the Stars. I know. My initial reaction was, there's no way I'm dancing in front of millions of people. And I had no idea what I was in for. And, you know, after the finale, um, I, I felt like I had more confidence in myself. More than you had prior to this, having won Much the more gold confidence. and the it, silver? It was different, because when I step out there, I know what I'm doing. You know, all of a sudden, I'm getting scores. I'm like, oh, phew, it's over. I hope I didn't fall down. <laughs> they tried to make you wear spandex, but you said no. No spandex, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I wear spandex on the ice. That's about it. All this talk about spandex got me thinking. If he could dance, I could skate. Lane number two. Lane number two. Representing the United States of America. The Today Show. The yeah. Ready? And then go. What was I thinking? Instead, I challenged the dancing champ to a tango. But these days, Apollo's focus is squarely set on the games in Vancouver. It's where he first launched his way to Olympic glory. You've said it's a bit like going home, it's coming full circle. I learned how to speed skate in Vancouver, BC. My father would drive me back and forth from Seattle to Vancouver. You call him Big Papa mm -hmm. on your Twitter feed. Mm -hmm. He has been so influential in, in your life on and off the ice. And he's played a vital role in all decisions in my life. Apollo was just one when his parents divorced. His father, Yuki, a hairstylist, raised him. Growing up in Seattle, Apollo admits he was never more than a step away from trouble. I always thought one of the reasons your dad got you involved in this is because you were kind of a rebellious kid, and this oh, was yeah. a way to keep you on track, right? My dad had kind of seen um, the path that I could potentially be leading towards. Which would have been? Maybe I'd be in jail, maybe I'd be dead, I have no idea. Now, with his bad boy days long gone and five Olympic medals to his name, the 27-year-old says competing in his third Winter Games was no easy decision. Do I truly want to do this again? And I came to the conclusion that, you know what, I, I love the sport, I love the Olympic Games, my body is healthy, I'm still one of the best in the world. Others want to go to the Olympic Games, they want to win a gold medal, that's their destination. I'm living my destination every single day. You know, like the journey is what I truly enjoy.